Henry County Schools has a strong commitment to creating personalized learning opportunities for students. We believe it's important to know your past, the present, and your plans for the future. It's important to know your strengths, needs, interests, and learning preferences. Data that goes beyond what is on your official transcript and can follow you from year to year and school to school. A learner profile has the potential to power personalized learning through data that can inform your education in new and meaningful ways while also providing a space for you, your teachers, and your parents to co-create learning paths unique to you. Today we're going to take a brief tour of a sample learner profile. When you log in, you'll come to your student dashboard. Your dashboard contains several different pieces of information. At the top, you'll notice some basic information about yourself as well as any new alerts or new messages that you may have. Below that, you'll see a series of tabs, which we'll refer to in just a moment. Then you'll see a pulse check area. A pulse check is a small series of questions used to gather information. Below the pulse check, you'll see the My Support Team area. This should be a list of your current teachers as well as email addresses to contact them. In the center, you'll see the My Personal Learning Plan area, which is a summary of active goals and action steps and any that may be overdue. Down below that, you'll see the Student Profile Updates area. This is a running list of updates that have been made to your student profile. The next tab is the Personal Learning Plan. Personalized learning plans are meant to help guide each student's education and also tie educational goals to career opportunities, making school more relevant. On this page, you have the ability to create goals and action steps towards meeting those goals. Goals can be long-term, mid-term, or short-term, and can be academic, attendance, behavioral, career, college-going behavior, or social personal goals. You might meet individually with your teachers at the beginning of the school year to work together to identify goals for the year ahead. A frequent cycle of follow-up meetings provides opportunities for you to reflect on your progress towards these goals, identify areas needing more attention, and consider whether you need to revise any goals. The next tab is the About Me tab. The About Me tab is where your strengths, instructional considerations, habits and dispositions, and interests are documented. This part of the learner profile is where you can say, hey, I learn best through visual representation, or in some cases with hands-on learning, or I'd rather work in a small group or by myself. The habits and dispositions percentages will populate once you have completed the habits and dispositions survey located on the student dashboard. The next tab is the portfolio tab. Every student should have a collection of their personal best it can demonstrate your achievement and growth over time. This digital portfolio provides a structure for you to organize some of your best student work while tagging them to learning goals and competencies. The next tab is the Schedule tab. This simply reflects your current schedule of classes and any extracurricular activities that you may be part of. The next tab is the Assessments tab. Currently, the Assessment tab contains standardized test data such as EOCT, EOG, CRCT, or writing assessment data. This is an area we plan to further develop. And finally, we come to the Notes tab. The Notes tab provides you with a few different templates that can be used to add notes to your learner profile. One of the most important templates or note types is the student-led conference. For years, parent-teacher conferences have been the primary means of parent-teacher communication to discuss student progress, and more times than not, the student's not even there. Now things are changing and we're giving you, the student, the opportunity to run the show. You get to lead the conference. The student-led conference note serves as an outline to help you prepare for, execute, and reflect on the conference. A key element of personalized learning is ensuring that teachers, parents, and students co-create and maintain an up-to-date record that provides a deep understanding of each student's individual strengths, needs, motivations, progress, and goals to help inform students' learning. Your learner profile will only be as good as the information put in it. We hope you use this learner profile to drive your personal achievement in the most innovative and imaginative ways possible.